This is Air for Labs. Hello and welcome again, dear pilots. In this tutorial number four, we will explore the activities around the aircraft when walking outside. This will be a longer video as there are many things to do. So first, let's step out. And we can try to open the baggage door. Okay, now when clicking in the interior of the baggage compartment, you can switch between different baggage presets. It instantly influences the flight model and starts to simulate the added weight. Okay, let's close the baggage door. Now, how we can secure the aircraft on the ground? There are two ways you can tie it down. Either with a rope or you can put chocks around the wheels. Let's try to put the left rope. And uh, this is the clickable spot. Always look for your cursor change. This indicates that there is some further functionality there. <laughs> Now left chalk. Tail rope. Right chalk. And finally right rope. There are two remove before flight objects accessible from the ground. It is engine cooling air intake cover and pitot cover. Just a reminder, don't forget to remove the pitot cover or you will face a problem of incorrectly indicated speed. There are other pre-flight checks you can do outside. For example, let's check control surfaces. We can start with the left aileron and continue with the left wing flap now elevator rudder the right wing flap and finally the right Elron. You can also sample fuel to check for water or other contaminants. There are five fuel valves under each wing and three of them are on the bottom of the front fuselage. Let's try just a few of them. Okay. Now we can check the oil. Click on the oil check door. Let's unscrew and pull out the oil cap with the measuring stick. And we can see how many quarts of oil we have. Pay attention to have always more than 5 quarts. Otherwise you will experience progressive damage to different engine parts. In case there is not enough oil, you can use the oil bottle you see and by clicking on it, you can refill the oil. Just like this. Okay, now we can go to the other side of the front fuselage and try to connect the ground power unit. It's easy all very intuitive. There are few other ground objects that are accessible also from the menu. So let's check the third icon from the top. In the submenu there is the GPU that we have already tried. The second icon means 
all remove before flight objects togo in one click is just for practicality. Then chocks all in ones and tie downs all in ones. Then there is engine heater. And finally the complete cover. Let's look at the engine heater now. For the purpose of testing it, let's open also the engine 2D panel window, which will be explained in more detail in later videos. Look for 2D panels and the last one is the engine panel. Let's resize the window to fit our situation. Now look for oil temperature, which is located here on the left side just below spark plugs falling diagram. Now we can start the heater. Let's select for example 125 Fahrenheit on the thermostat and we can see the oil temperature is now slowly rising during the warm-up and you can always accelerate the process by switching the fans to high RPM setting. Ok, now let's switch off all the ground objects using the menu. Step in the cockpit and check if the parking brake is off. If not, let's release the parking brake. And you are probably starting to guess what will follow. We step outside again and we go in front of our 172 and click on this part of the front wheel strut. As you can see, we can now easily tow our 172 by just pressing the walk commands. OK, pilots, that's all for now and I'm looking forward to the next video which will be about refueling and weight and balance.